How to teach a dog to tug open a door. I discovered that Tofu kept getting stuck inside a room that had an automatically closing door and I would have to open the door for him whenever he wandered in there. Because the door didn't close shut, he could get in but then couldn't get out. So that inspired me to teach him how to open the door himself. You may find this useful if you have these kind of doors in your house too and want your dog to be able to problem solve their way out of them. Tie some sort of a tug or rope that your dog is willing to pull onto the doorknob. A good hanging length is to the dog's shoulders. If your tug is too long, the dog will have to back up a lot further to get the door open. And if it's too short, the dog will not be able to reach it easily. I just use a thicker leash in this demo. Now just wait and click or say yes and treat when your dog looks at the tug. You can point at the tug the first couple times to give him a clue of what you want, but stop after the third time. Yes. After your dog is doing that reliably, click or say yes and treat when the dog touches the tug. Yes. Now click or say yes and treat when your dog touches and mouths the tug. Yes. Now click or say yes and treat when your dog mouths the tug and moves his feet back. First click any leg movements, then just backward ones, then one step, two steps, and so on. Yes. Now click or say yes and treat for grabbing the tug and backing up to gradually build up muscle and confidence in the tugging. This is basically like the last step but it's a crucial step because you really want to build this part up. Yes. Yes. Now you can add your cue. I use tug. When you are 99% confident, your dog will pull the tug and open the door, say your cue, and click or say yes and treat when he does. Repeat until he associates the cue with the action. behavior by having your dog open the door with you on the opposite side of the door also. Click or say yes and treat when your dog succeeds. You may still have to remind your dog periodically how to open the door until he does it on his own automatically, but at least now he knows how to help himself out. And his friends too. Some training tips. If your dog gets confused or too frustrated at any point, go back to the step he was last successful in. Keep your training sessions short, around two to four minutes. It's better to have a few short lessons a day than one long one. And lastly, train at your dog's pace. Don't expect to train this all in one lesson. In fact, the more time you take, the more your dog will actually know the behavior and the more reliable it will be. Thanks for watching.